Welcome to GDS Mastery, your ultimate guide to mastering global distribution systems. Welcome to GDS Mastery. Today we will learn how to encode and decode. Let's start. The travel industry relies on two or three letter codes to denote cities, airlines and other information. So it's important to know the correctly formatted information or how to find it. Your customer is asking to travel to Tucuman. To encode, that is, to obtain the three-letter city code when our starting point is the full city name, enter the transaction DAN Tucuman. The three-letter code is displayed. The opposite of this process is known as decoding. In this case, you already have the three-letter code but you want to know the full city name it refers to. For example, let's see which city is represented by the code YMQ. To decode this city, enter DAC YMQ. The city is Montreal. Let's have a look at the rest of the information on the screen. Here is the key to understand the information displayed. Airports are represented with the letter A. We can see that Montreal has three different airports, each with their own unique code. XAX is the code for Dorval Railway Station in Montreal. The slash CAQC represents the country and the state code. In this example, the country and state code is CAQC. The transaction DNS can be used to both encode or decode a state. Enter DNS CAQC to find out which state Montreal is in. The state is Quebec and the country is Canada. Note that this transaction is only applicable for the five countries that contain states Canada, USA, Australia, Argentina and Brazil. If you'd like to encode or decode a country or have more information on it, you can use the DC transaction. Let's say you want to find out what the country code for Mexico is and what currency is in use there. Enter DC Mexico. On the first line, the two letter country code, country and region, and the IATA area it falls under are displayed. Then the local currency in which tariffs are published and the corresponding three-letter code MXN. Some countries publish their international tariffs in a different currency. In our example, international tariffs are published in US dollars with the three-letter code USD. Your customer wants to fly with Brinda Bella Airlines and you need to find the airline code. To encode this airline, Enter DNA followed by the name of the airline. The airline code is FQ. You see in a PNR the letters CRJ in the equipment field. To find out what type of equipment it refers to, enter DNE CRJ. The type of equipment is Canada Regional Jet. The minimum capacity for passengers is 50 and the maximum is 86. And that's it. You've just learned how to encode or decode information. Happy learning. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching GDS Master. Don't forget to subscribe for more travel industry tips.